What's good, y'all? I'm back with another video. I'm switching it up a little bit. This time I'm gonna do a beat tutorial with this R&B beat I made. Let me know if y'all want to see more beat videos like this. Like, let me know if y'all want to keep the mixing going. But I'm gonna show you how to make a smooth R&B beat today. You know, a smooth guitar with some vocals, simple trap drums, just something real smooth. And let's get into it. I'm gonna play the beat first. Alright, so that's the beat. Y'all can hear it real smooth, real chill, R&B type beat. And now I'm going to just show y'all how to make it. I'm going to just break it down. Alright, so the first thing I used was this Ample Guitar Semi Hollow. Um, it's an electric guitar. It's the most realistic sounding one to me, like all the Ample Guitar stuff is. And I made this in A minor. Um, I don't know too much music theory, but I know a little bit. Um, so I'm pretty sure this is a this is a six five. It goes from the six to the five, and then to the six again, then to the what would that be the three, and then the four. I think I'm not too sure. I don't know too much music theory. I just go based off my ear. But yeah, you like to get it that smooth sound. You gotta have like the strum. You got these notes leading into the next chords, and then these two just to switch it up at the end. I'm gonna play it. Oh, and there's seventh chords too, by the way. You want to use seventh chords, ninth chords if you want that R&B sound. Like you see, it's just smooth. Like just follow. You, I don't really know the secret to making R&B stuff. It's just follow your ears. Whatever you hear, like. I can explain it like this like like you hear that chord so like where do you want to go from there basically like my ears went to this chord like it heard the and then it heard like I listen for the top notes mostly so that determines where my melody goes like I just knew I wanted to go down after that chord because it would have just sounded more chill um, that's a tip I can get for y'all and then do like these little notes going into the next chord like this note is this note right here so it just kind of makes sense it doesn't do it right here but it just sounded good and then after that i knew i wanted to go back to the first chord because it was just it just makes sense it just sounded like it should have went back to that chord and then i knew i wanted to go down and then not have the exact same chord here so that's why i went down like to the what would that be the three and then up to the four because I just knew I didn't want to hit this chord again and then this chord just fits good back into the into the next one so that being said next thing i use arcade r&b beats i should say you don't want to use like those hyper pop oozy type vocals you want to use some smooth like run some smooth yes and all that so i'm gonna play it i'm pretty sure i had this in a whole different key because i pitched this down and stuff so stuff might not be completely in key with each other but yeah, see, like this is in B minor. I bring that to A. And then when you play them together, it's like a call and response. Like you would hear, I'm gonna do this, but you're gonna hear like 
the vocals come in when the after the guitar strum it doesn't start on it it did on that last one but you guys get the idea like it's like a call and response you hear the strum and then you hear the vocal next strum then you hear the vocal so it's like it just makes it sound smooth that way this is just a wah guitar it's not in the key but you get it just it's just the wah it just makes it sound real smooth i use the this honey bank um all right so now for the effects that i have on the guitar i have the demo version of guitar rig and it like resets so it's not going to show what the actual thing is but i use guitar rig um this is the eq i have on the guitar chorus flanger bahala viola delay and some stereo imaging it's just simple stuff it's nothing crazy it just without all that it sound like this it in whole different vibe now and then arcade all I do is really low pass the vocals just pan man reverb chorus flanger same stuff basically like I don't go too crazy with the mixing when I'm making the beat like if I'm having an artist on it that's when I like mix it better but right now I don't it's just leveling just some effects and that's it and then yeah just reverb and eq for the wild guitar and then for the drums just i wanted like spacey hi-hats like like they keep a consistent rhythm it's not two-step but it's like you hear the bounce in the hi-hats that's key with these beats like you don't want you can do two-step but to make it smoother and like more spacey just break it up have some rhythm with your hi-hats i put effect tricks on it just a little reverse a little delay preset to make it roll you know just consistent it has a good bounce to it and then you already know snare patterns i don't gotta go through that um kick hard hand kick from BWB just following the root notes slide right here I like using bass lines in R&B beats and then like using the slides to make a slide if you don't know how to make a slide you just click this right here put it under the note like this and then you can just shorten it if you make it shorter then the slide will just be faster but I just use the, I just follow the root notes, have some bounce in it. Slide it down into the into this note. It just sound it makes it sound real smooth. Like just do things that just make it sound smooth. And like for the melodies, you want to make them like ambient, like have the reverb, low pass them, don't have too much highs. Like you want them to like to make something wavy. That's what you, that's how you gotta make it wavy. But that being said, that's the beat. Let me know if y'all want anything else. Any other beat videos? I make R and B. It could be some trap stuff. It don't matter. So let me know what y'all want to see, and I'm out.